Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, in this video I figured I'd just show you kind of some of the things I've been playing around with the Garmin G3X integrations with uh, ForeFlight and just kind of starting how I'm thinking about connecting it up. Hope you enjoy it. Anyway, if you do, don't forget, leave a like. Thanks. Bye I now. I decided to do some work on the avionics. So here's a little test setup I've got. My master relay. I got my vertical power system and I got my G3X touch and down here I've got my master switch. Not completely wired up yet, but uh, I've got it running off power. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go power this on and then I'm going to put my G3X in uh, diagnostic mode, which allows me to do some simulations, which is pretty slick actually. It's great for testing some things out. So let me just go do that. Flip the master switch on. Garmin lights up, hold down the two buttons here, it'll go into diagnostic mode. There you go. I'll let go of the buttons. And when it comes up in diagnostic mode, you can, uh, you can then go continue here. And what I can now do is I can go to the menu, hit menu again. And down here you'll see drive simulator click that guy and I'm just gonna go and set my airspeed airspeed my altitude is fine I'm just gonna set my airspeed to uh, let's say 145 knots and then hit back <clears throat> and I'm gonna click on this guy so here we have it and away it goes. Now the other thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go back, menu, menu, I'm going to go back into that simulator, I'm going to put in a waypoint here, A, D, Y, L, Doylestown, enter that, and now what it will allow me to do is you'll see here I've actually got a flight plan loaded in to simulate a trip <clears throat> and now that I've got that all set up what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my tablet here and I'm going to log into my tablet and once I log into my tablet I'm going to start up for flight and one other thing I needed to do is I haven't paired this unit up yet so let me go in here menu again I'm going to go setups and in setup I'm going to go over here to Bluetooth and you'll see leaf on the wind not connected and I'm going to connect it so now it's connected which means now it's talking to my tablet so over here I've got the same thing you can see the emulated aircraft up here. Here's the flight plan that's actually loaded over there. If I wanted to, I can go in here into for flight, clear this out. And let's say I'm going to do a trip from KDYL to, um, I don't know, KMQS. Okay. It's a pretty short little trip. I'm done. And if I look at that on the map, you see it's just a short little trip here. Now what I can do is I can actually go and in my flight plan here, I can go send that. You'll see right here the panel. If you hit panel, it comes over here. You can see flight plan received KDYL KMQS. Store, ignore, activate. I'm going to activate it. And there you go. And now what I've got is I've got that new flight plan loaded right up in here. And you can see it right here. That's pretty slick. And I can do the reverse as well. Uh, still playing around with it a little bit, trying to see kind of what you can and can't do with it. Um, you can see here it's got the attitude, wind, you know, speed, altitude, direction, everything on here. Um, I've still got to play with it a little more, see what else I can get on it. But uh, so far it's pretty slick. And what I'll do now is I'm planning on, uh, I'll lay out my panel 
I'll start figuring out how I want to put this into the panel. And then based on that, I'll be able to start uh, running some of the wires and start doing some of the wiring in the panel and run the wires inside the plane. Anyway, I figured I'd show this. It, uh, it worked out pretty, pretty good. And uh, the only thing I had to do is for this thing to get it to work with an iPad, you need to have the configuration module in it. I didn't have it first, so I just purchased the configuration module from Aircraft Spruce, uh, connected it up, and uh, away it went. Cheers. Bye now. One other quick thing I forgot to show here. Down on the bottom, you can see all of the different uh, menus you've got on the screen, the different pages. But if you scoot over here, what you'll see is there's a page for the VPX. And this is pretty cool. So you can see the total current draw. You can see what each device is drawing. So right now I don't have, I've got the, the vertical power uh, detecting if it doesn't have a current draw for my battery backup. I have the same for some lights and stuff. But in here you can see the GDU is drawing somewhere around 0.6 amps. Um, but it's pretty slick. You can see the status of the alternator. You can also control things from here directly and it'll show you the status of the switches. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty slick, I must say. I really like it. I think that'll be, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool as I get it configured up and get all my switches wired and start hooking up uh, the rest of the avionics. Anyway, cheers, bye now.